In order for the Raspberry Pi to be able to boot to an SSD, you want to make sure that you have your uh, Raspberry Pi updated to the latest and greatest. So I did a sudo apt update and a sudo apt upgrade. I'm going to say Y for yes, so I don't get, have to deal with any prompts. I'm going to let that run. Once everything is updated, I'm going to go ahead and reboot the device one more time just to make sure that um, everything is where it should be. All right, once uh, it's rebooted, let's go ahead and log back in. Um, the next command I'm going to run is just going to show the devices that are plugged in, uh, primarily the storage devices, so LSBLK. So we can see that this MMCBLK. 01 is our um, SD card. So I'm going to now plug in the uh, external SSD and I want to plug that into the USB uh, 3, which is the blue ports on my Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, it doesn't matter top or bottom. I'm just going to plug this one into one of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and run that command again just so I can kind of see the difference. So now you can see I have both the SD card and this is the drive. You can see the difference in size too. The my method here, uh, I'm going to be using DD, uh, so it has to be at least the size of your SD card, if not bigger. Um, so I'm going from a fifth, basically a 64 gig SD card to a 500 um, SSD, so uh, significantly bigger, about 10 times. So the next command I'm going to run is uh, the dd command. So we'll just walk through this real quick. sudo just gives you elevated access. dd is for disk duplication. if, this is the input file um, to the devices. This is our SD card. So this is the input. So this is the where we want to read from. And then this is what we want to write to. So we're going to go to, so you can see here, sda. So we're writing, so this is our input file this is our output file uh, we're going to do this in blocks of four megs and then i just added the status progress otherwise this command just kind of runs um, without any sort of feedback so anyways i'm going to go ahead and run that and we'll be back in a second the dd has finally finished the uh it took a little over what 22 minutes i think um so the next step is now we're going to shut down the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to do a sudo shut down minus H for halt and zero, which means right now. We'll go ahead and turn that off. And then once uh, the Raspberry Pi is off, I'm going to go ahead and take out the SD card. After shutting down the Raspberry Pi and uh, pulling the power, pulling the SD card out and uh, powering back up, we should be able to log back in. And as you can see, we are. Now if I do an LSBLK, we can see that we just have the SDA device. And as you can see up here, this is what we ran earlier. This was the uh, SD card. This is the SSD. So now we are fully running off there. The last thing I want to check, we're going to do a DF-H to see the drives. Um, so you can see we only have part of the drive available, 56 gig. So the last thing I would recommend doing is doing a sudo um, rspi-conf. So once we've done our thing, uh, we go back into here and we go under advanced options. Uh, we're gonna expand the file system and that's gonna allow us to have the entire disk used. We'll have to do another reboot. And we'll go ahead and say yes. And once we log back in, we should have all the drive space available for the SSD. And that will be at the end of it. Uh, the nice thing is we can keep the SD card around. It's a nice backup if we want. Um, or we can use it for something else. All right, I think it's rebooted. Yep. Now if we do another DF-H, we can see now we have, oh yeah, a lot more space, 400. Oops. You can see now we have the full space here. So, anyways, that's uh, that's it. Not too hard. Um, 
but you just got to be careful because you could easily uh, delete data. So please be careful. Till next time.